Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Today we're going to continue our study on uh, light and shadow, and we're going to be sketching a vehicle. This time I'm going to be sketching a, the side view of a sports car. Uh, this will be kind of a, a voluptuous sculptural shape, and I'm going to show you how to use the principles of uh, using light, shadow, and reflectivity uh, to express the shapes and forms within the body of the vehicle. In the last lesson, we looked at how to render simple shapes like uh, cubes and cylinders and spheres uh, using reflective and non-reflective materials. Well, if you look at a vehicle, it's really a combination of all of those shapes put together. And so uh, how we combine those shapes and how we express light and shadow through all of these combined shapes uh, gives us an idea as to what the surface of the vehicle is doing. So I'm going to sketch a quick side view of, of, a, of an Italian uh, GT style sports car, something maybe uh, front or front mid engine. I'm going to start with my ground line and draw my ellipses. I might even draw the rear wheel just slightly bigger than the front wheel. And since this is going to be a mid-engine car, I'm also going to keep the height of the vehicle limited to about one and a half wheels tall. And since this is going to be a mid-engine car, I'm going to set the cabin towards, towards the rear of the vehicle. So this, this egg shape just sort of represents the, the um, volume of the passenger cabin. I'm going to draw a couple of fender forms, very sculptural fender forms. This is a very classical uh, Italian grand touring type of uh, sports car. Just laying down the, the, the main character lines. Drawing the A-pillar towards the center of the front wheel. And I might, I might put like a really interesting um, air extractor on the side. You know, something that, something that extracts air outward. Draw some spokes. So now what I want to do is start to express the form of the vehicle. Now this is a very sculptural vehicle, so there's going to be areas of it that are in, in light and, and areas that are in shadow. And generally I'm going to have the light coming in from, from above. And I'm going to start with this, with this air extractor because that's going to be the deepest part of the, of the body side. And I want to have a, the feeling that the surface is tunneling into an opening somewhere in the front. So I'm going to start with this, this graphic element of, the, of this, this hole, this shape in the body side, and then really deep shadow coming from above it. So you really get the sense that the surface is carving in and tunneling back out. And then down here in the lower part of the body side, that's going to be starting to roll under, underneath. So, so there I'm going to put another sort of dark shadow area and just sort of fade that out. And the front fender is just going to have a nice sort of soft section to it. So 
So, so it looks like the, the front fender has, has this nice soft form and then all of a sudden this, this, this scoop just sort of carves away uh, on, on the body side. Then I'm going to start to add some sky tone. So as the, as the surface rolls up towards the sky, it's going to start to get a little bit darker. So we're going to leave that as sort of a soft gradation. And that's going to really help us define, especially this rear, rear fender. So we want to give the impression that you have that you have this teardrop shaped cabin and you have these really voluptuous haunches these these shoulders coming out over the rear wheels so we want to really emphasize that in the way we we render the sky tone and then the same thing with the cabin the cabin is going to um, have this gradation towards the sky tone so you can see what, what's happening is you get you really get the sense that the, the, the cabin is tapering. You've got these broad shoulders coming out, these front fenders coming out. As I say, keep it light until it's right. And so you'll see that I'm, I'm really building this up slowly. as I get more confident in the shape of the vehicle, I can start to darken some of those, those shadow areas. And you can see I'm using the side of my pencil quite a bit. That, that helps, really helps to give a nice subtle gradation. Um, when you're doing this with ballpoint pen, it's, it's much more difficult to get any sort of gradation. which is why I recommend that people start off with, with pencil before they graduate to pen. Pen is sort of like on or off, but a pencil, has, you know, there's a lot of opportunity for, it's much more forgiving. There's a lot more opportunity for subtlety and, and variation in the gradations. So now I'm starting to darken some of the, the, main, the main line. Starting with the, the, the front fender transitioning into the belt line. So that's how we express the uh, shape of the cabin. Really getting some depth on that shoulder. Getting some more definition on the, the wheel openings. Adding some graphic elements. Some lighting details, perhaps. Carbon fiber rocker panel. Helps add some visual lightness. It's sort of that hourglass shape, that wasp waisted look that a lot of really classic sports cars have. Really darken this, um, really darken this air intake.
and this, this shadow that comes off of the, the top of that air intake. You add a, bit, a little bit of gradation as the, as the surface transitions into the air intake. So you really get a sense of, of the, the form just, just tunneling in to that air intake. And just slowly building up the form. You can really see how the form is, is responding to the light and shadow. And even how you, how you uh, approach the hatching or the, the strokes of the pencil can help to define the shape. And I might, I might just add a little bit of a horizon reflection at the, at the belt line, at the window. This just helps to make it feel more glass-like. The glass is going to have like a hard reflection to it. So that's another way to kind of differentiate like a, a metallic paint from a, from, a, uh, from a reflective gloss, glossy black glass material. Just adding some, some door cuts. And door cuts are a great way to help define a surface as well. I'm just just darkening some of the the detail elements like the spokes and the tires to really cement this vehicle to the ground. We always want to make the car look planted to the road. What's great about Prismacolor is you can get a get really 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 dark but you can also be very, very subtle. There's so much more control over light and shadow when you're using a Prismacolor pencil versus most other medium. But you can still use just about any medium. You can use regular pencils, you can use uh, ballpoint pens. So if we think about the cylinder, as an expression of light and shadow, right? And we think of a, a gradation from, from ground tone to light source to sky tone. And you can see on this vehicle how the surface is undulating in and out. So it's, so it's transitioning between reflecting ground and sky and ground and sky and those, those, those shadow areas are transitioning in and out. So you really get a sense of what the shapes and forms are doing. And so this is how rendering or ba you know, basic rendering can help really define the sense of shape and form in a vehicle, especially something as sculptural as a sports car. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.